ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਹਿਲਟਨ ਹੋਟਲ ਲੰਡਨ ਚ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਬੈਟਸ ਵੋਰਡ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਵੋਰਡ ਹੈ ਗਿਨੇ ਵਿਚ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਡਾਇਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਵੋਰਡ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਲੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਸਭ ਹੈ ਗਿਨੇ ਮੋਸਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟਲੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਅੱਜ ਨੋਮੀਨੇਟ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਫੋਰ ਦਾ ਵੋਟਸ ਲਈ ਜਦੋਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਣਗੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਨੇਜਮੈਂਟ ਟੀਮ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਹਾਊ ਡੇ ਦੇ ਪੁੱਟ ਦਿਸ ਆਲ ਟੂਗੇਦਰ ਇਹ ਹਰ ਸਾਲ ਮਨਾਇਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਹਿਲਟਨ ਹੋਟਲ ਲੰਡਨ ਚ ਇਹਦੀ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਬੋਜ ਦੀ ਸੈਰੇਮਨੀ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੰਦਰ ਜਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੱਲਣ ਤੇ ਦਿਖਾਉਂਦੇ ਰਵਾਂਗੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਿਸ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਗੈਸਟ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਾਸ ਯੂਰੋ ਆਮੀ ਦੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੱਡੀ ਗੱਲ ਇਨ ਦ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਦੇਖੋ ਹਾਊ ਬ੍ਰਿਲੀਅੰਟ ਦੇ ਲੁੱਕ ਇਟਸ ਰੀਲੀ ਯੂ نو ਜਦ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਪਾਉਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਦ ਹੋਲ ਥਿੰਗ ਚੇਂਜਸ ਕਮ ਸੋ ਪਰਸਨੈਲਿਟੀ ਕਮਸ ਆਊਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਸੈਡ ਆਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਐਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਦੀ 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 ਡਰੈਸ ਦੀ ਦੀ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ looks absolutely fantastic thank you very much this so um so that this is our evening dress that we would wear to a, a, a function like this i would have never known i'm glad you said that <laughs> would you tell us your role and what as you do yes um so my name is donna lodge okay. and i work um in the army engagement branch and my role is to using sport to try and connect with society um and to help the arm to help this help uk British citizens understand a little bit more about the army what we do and why we do what we do you got a lot of people like i mean from the different ethnic group and and how do you find yourself working with different community from different parts of the world uh we work with all of communities throughout the uk um all people all backgrounds um male female young old we we want we want to connect with everybody because we are the nation's army and we want the whole of the nation to understand us so i hope you pick some other language to speak any other language at all <laughs> myself <laughs> um not personally but we do have language we do have linguists and um, okay. we do have experts um who who can speak all different languages yeah Lovely. probably Thank every you. language that you could think great. of great two people are doing a great job honestly um sare paaji doesn't need introduction eh introduction de mutaabik nahi hai gayi ਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਉਹ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਚ ਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਰਮੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਐਫ ਤੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਹੀਜ਼ ਦ ਜੈਂਟਲਮੈਨ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਕੇ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਭਾਜੀ ਸੋ ਆਨਰ ਟੂ ਮੀਟ ਯੂ ਹੈ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਸੋ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਗੋਟ ਵਰਡਸ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਸਸਰ ਕਾਲ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਦ ਵਿਊਅਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਹੈ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਆਈ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਹੈਵ ਸੈਡ ਥੈਟ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਭਾਜੀ ਇਟਸ ਲਵਲੀ ਥੈ ਥੋੜਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਕਰੋ ਕਿ ਯੂ نو ਯੂਰ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਸ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਇਟ ਬਟ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਮਾਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ओके वी आर हियर ऑफ एसएस अथाय बिकॉज़ एसी चंदे सारे देख रहे आर्मी अंदर इन्ने सारे स्पोर्टिंग फैसिलिटीज हैगे ते एसी साडे आज जनरल आ रिया ते मेरी बॉस हथे हैगी ते एसी हथे जेदे लोग देखे ना साडे नाल क्वेश्चन पूछे ते कंदे आर्मी की कर दे एसी एज यू ऑफिस थे ना करियर्स करियर्स दे बारे में गल्ला करनी है ते ऑफिस एज ए प्रेजेंटेशन एक साडे जनरल वी अवार्ड प्रेजेंट कर रहे very good jida then i encourage that the uh, call channel badi support kar diye sanu support kar dene assi lot of people are in the different position which you need lieutenant major they have gene and rf the pilot have gene har different different positions like ane taaki jehde bacche ghar baith ke dekhte tusi inspire ho and if you want to follow the profession please then no call karo these are the people who will help you out i really appreciate it. thank you for your advice and uh, we'll catch bit later on you will thank you madam thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm so happy so privileged to have somebody with us here uh, Major General Paul Nelson main unna nal gal baat karanga te sara kuch ke oh ki karde ne te bada important gal hai ke ke call channel kuch is tarah da silsila kar diya jadon as main gal karanga fir is mujhamaga this was something in Punjabi i said um, we personally call channel support you very well because we've been having a lot of press now from your um, organization to encourage the youngsters to watch our channel yeah especially the recruitment side yeah and firstly i'm so honored so proud to be here with you sir what would you like to say on tonight's function well i just like to say how honored and privileged i am to be here tonight um this is such a
purpose, all those things are as important in military life as they are in sport. I must say, every time I interview, I had some other people from the army as well. You know, the uniform it is absolutely fantastic, really stands out. Thank you. And I wish I could afford to buy these medals, but they're not for sale. This is something people have to earn it. And I'm sure it must have taken a number of years for you to get there. Well, I've been, I've been in the army a long time. So I joined the army from school. I joined when I was uh, 19. And, uh, you know, I always said when I stopped enjoying it, I'd get out. Uh, and here I am 33 years later. And I've had a fantastic time. One thing most important, our channel has been watched by over a million people every day. It goes to 107 countries worldwide. What, would you, what message would you give youngsters watching you? Um, how can you encourage them to join whatever force in the country, maybe the army, maybe the forces or whatever, or the navy? What, what encouragement can you give them? Well, I think our, you know, our traditions go back a long way. Uh, shared traditions, shared values. You know, I come from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst where we absolutely hold dear to uh, our heritage, our joint heritage. You know, we share a lot of heritage with the Sikhs. Uh, you know, we, we celebrate the same as you, um, Sarah Gary. Uh, what, what made those 21 young Sikhs do amazing things in Afghanistan all those years ago under, under Havadar Singh? Uh, you know, courage, determination, discipline. You know, stands true to, to, to today as well and so uh, I would say to anybody thinking about uh, joining an organization that has those shared values that offers opportunities equal opportunities for all then come and have a look at us why not absolutely and uh, we support 200 percent and this is the way the gateway um, the cult channel to bring people up to you yeah that's fantastic we're very, we really appreciate it and uh, you know Looking forward to seeing more, more young Sikhs coming forward and, uh, and seeing about the army. Thank you so much. A pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I'm so honoured and privileged to be uh, with uh, Harleen Ko. Uh, she's a kickboxing uh, silver medalist, yes? Am I right? Well, silver medalist, yeah. And every time Jadu Sadi, we meet each other, it's at the boards, yeah? It is, yeah. It's here, it's here. Honestly. But they keep, um, honestly, we on the Carl channel. I personally, myself, and Preeti, um, we inspire people like yourself because you are a role model and I want people out there to see Kesadi Kuri, what have you achieved and I hope they can follow your footsteps. Bella, that's how do you find in this field? Um, sports the field of it. Uh, kick, uh, kickboxing the field. Hanji, um, so I've been doing martial arts now, and kickboxing the field of British Championships which I've been doing for Sonia and the Bishop Championships which I've been doing for Chandi. And I think that I have a feeling that I have a sports field which I have a lot of people who 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 have a British ethnic diversity in sports. I think that there are a lot of people who have 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 अपनी और वाले जोड़ा जेनरेशन या और वाली जोड़ी पीढ़ी या वो भी ऑटो सके तो वो भी स्पोर्ट्स वेज एक बड़ी इम्पोर्टेंट गल है यू नो इट्स सो फनी मैं बड़ा इंकरेज करता हूँ यंगस्टर्स टू जॉइन एनी स्पोर्ट्स जब मेरी लड़की हूँ जी ना आई डोंट थिंक आई वुड लेट गो द किक बॉक्सिंग अब डज योर प um, my parents have always been very supportive. Really? Yeah, I'm both lucky. Yeah, because they never told me to do anything. That you are doing what you are doing, or what you are not doing. always made me feel safe. Like it did. Always made me encourage. Kita the push. Kita. So I think I'm very lucky. Because Papa ke hi baat dekhne hai ki jede kar diya the support. Naamal ne karan bachcha piche raja nda hai. Bilkul. So it's very important. Kita no parents the support hone chahiye diya. And meri bhi yehi benti hogi parents nu ke jede bhi field which toh danyana jana chonda hai. Tusi puri support toh nu karni chahiye diya. Very good message, Helen, for myself. From a car channel, we wish you well. Thank In you. fact, the whole community is part of you, oh, and we wish you well. And I'm sure Peter may have got some question to ask you. Okay, thank you, Paul. Uh, Harleen, what I want to ask you, and a lot of women out there are still wanting to know, is what do you think parents can do, or the younger generation can do, to um, come forward to do kickboxing? Um, I think a lot of it is being lazy um, and some of it is also not being aware so I know there's a lot of um, physical activity uh, uh, curriculums out there for the public 
and there's a lot of things um, being on that they can get involved in. Uh, I have my own classes that I run now once a week as well up in Bradford. Um, so I think if we want to do something about it, if we want to see a change, we kind of have to be the change. We kind of have to get out of our comfort zones and actually do something. So we want our kids to get into sport. There's nothing stopping us from searching what, what clubs are nearby and what's available to actually enrol them and get them started because it's never too late to start. I mean, I've started, um, and now that I've started coaching as well, I get people that have started in the late 30s and early 40s and they want to start they want to start fighting and it's I think it's amazing and they're an inspiration to me because it just tells me that you know they can start they've got that mindset that they want to do something and it's not too late for them and what else would you say as in encouragement wise uh, events like this how much do you think it emphasizes on people to come forward and say look you know what I'm gonna do it I think events like this, um, they're amazing, you know, Beds is an amazing initiative promoting and uh, celebrating excellence in ethnic diversity in sports and all the achievements that have been, um, you know, the, what, what uh, ethnic diverse people have done and have achieved in sports and I think it kind of inspires the next generation and maybe younger younger kids who watch this on TV and watch it on social media and they kind of think, you know what, um, if I do sports, I can kind of be at events like this, I can excel and I can be in the public eye so they can aspire they can find role models and aspire to be people okay so one last question for you I won't take too much of your time the other last question is um, over the years obviously you've had seen so much growth and you've inspired a lot of younger generation Harleen has and uh, we want to know since from your point of view how many people or how many women do you think in the past couple of years since seeing yourself have come forward um, come forward in what sense? Uh, come forward in sense of they want to taking overall in general in taking part in support or in kickboxing itself. Um, so I think there's there's women out there who kind of want to do something. But um, I'm from Bradford, West Yorkshire. In my area specifically, I can't really talk about the rest. In my area specifically, the main barrier is where they want to do it, but they're not allowed to be in mixed gender classes. Um, so what I'm kind of looking at doing now is introducing women only classes so at least some sort of starting point for them because obviously there's cultural barriers with being an uh, Asian community and having some people have that mindset of the women aren't allowed to do classes with men which you know I don't really agree with but um, that's what people's mindsets are and you have to respect that so I think that's the main barrier from my locality and um, that's what I'd like to say, yeah. Okay, thank you, Harleen Court. Thank you. Wagaji Kaka Sa, Wagaji Fete. Saripas Ranbir Singh Sandhu. Both important girls, they're called the Bab Nalkara, Joan of Foolish Ford, and the Wrestling Slough Club, they're with you. Both are chair. Oh, they're going to be a good job. They're going to be a good job. I welcome you on the call channel, buddy. Thank you. Wagaji Kaka Sa, Wagaji Fete. It's an honor to be nominated today for uh, two awards the UK Inspiration Performance of the Year and the City Livery Award. Uh, I think it's fantastic to have a Slough Racing Club on the map at such a high level of sport and I just hope it inspires the younger generation to take part in sport within ethnic minorities. This is great. You know what happens? Firstly, obviously the father going to be, you know, the chest going to go really wide. <laughs> the most happiest man on the planet will be the father, then the whole community. Yep. We are backing up 100%. And this is what we're trying to show on the Carl Channel, that people watching you inspire other youngsters to follow you. What message would you give in? Um, the early message I was giving is to stay on the right path, keep positive, surround yourself with positive people. Um, as long as you have that in your mind and stick to your goals and persevere, then you will achieve. It won't happen straight away, but over time it, it will definitely happen. So it's just about perseverance and discipline. I wish you so well for tonight Thank and you. I really best wishes much. for you. Thank you. I'll pass on to Preeti now. Preeti, uh, I think the father probably wants to speak something now. Yeah. So um, this is a great opportunity uh, for yourself to express your... Um, congratulations to your son and to yourself as well. How do you feel? Um, I'm I, I'm delighted to be here. Sab to pehle meri fate wahigru ji ka khalsa, sir wahigru ji ki fate. Main bada khush hal aaj ki mera mera beta aaj shortlisted hai. Lekin main apni sari sikh kaum nu kehna ki tusi idhar nu sports nu dhyan deyo. Sports de vich is to baad bacche hor aun sade. Uh, मैं गुरुद्वारे ने सैकटरी ने सब तो ज़्यादा अर्ज करता कि तुम ओलंपिक स्पोर्ट्स दिए प्रोग्राम शुरू करो असी बहुत पिछे हाँ अज असी थोड़ी तहदाद चाह ज़्यादा एथनिक मनोरिटीज जी दूसरिया उन्होंने काफ़ी भारी तहदाद चाह मैं बहुत दिल दिलों तह दिलों बड़ा खुश हाँ कि शोर्ट लिस्टड आ जे जे दो कैंडीडेट आ बड़े रहीम स्टैलिंग दूजी एथलीट आ जमेका द 
they are very big uh, established athletes par palwani de vich palwani de daur sada daur a palwani de vich it's a very difficult sport ta ek currently matlab british champion hai isliye nu shortlist kita gaya main selection panel da bada slow bada tanwadiyan te dilon aur jinna ne inna nu votaan paiyan email rahi unna da main bada shukrguzar ha main unna nu tanwad unna da i wish him good luck and um thanu thwada bada tanwad jehda tusi aage te cover kar rahe ho thank you very much and uh, how do you feel i am i'm actually excited to be here today uh, i think it's great to be a part of such a high level event i think it's good to get uh, inspire ethnic minorities to take part in sport so i think this is just a start for uh, for a lot of uh, seat in the seat community to get inspired to be at this sort of level of sport so it's, i'm great it's a great feeling to be here okay congratulations to both of you and to your mother thank you yeah the most important jere award win karde ne assi unna de interview ton dikha rahe hain the important thing is the people behind the scene uh, sadinal arun khan ceo for the sport equals um but you so wonderful job you know when people see all this happening but people don't understand the hard work behind all this sir in the pehla main dasanga ki how long since you done all this uh, i think 10 uh, 4 mahine ho gaya proper planning really? and um you know the uh, the venue um in, invitees get a guest a celebrity guest so sare no pehla unna di availability check karni pendi a and then we have to uh, uh check for um uh, the award categories nominations uh, the voting the judging we did the judging with the fa uh, then judging um at uk sport offices so uh, judging both on the uh, um and um Uh, administration behind the scenes won't there uh, and then we need to make sure the uh, invitees come and then the media so media is always here for you that's something you don't have to worry but i um, arun the most important thing is jira to see a career in a batch of awards how did that come into your mind because this is something such a brilliant job you're doing to encourage the ethnic group get to see sports how and not only they go and do the sports and do the award mil there to see recognize kar de ho and show to the world wide and their achievement as you have the case the media the which um, punjabi asian ethnic minority bo photo ani on dia doesn't matter if you win olympic gold or king or in your photo media with ni on dia so as you such as you happy humne own awards karunge and uh, we didn't want it to be just punjabi just asian for competition ni bo hundi we say if you're going to do your competition then you know it should be wider and so as you sare ethnic minorities the sport uh, uh, um, leya and uh, with that the awards now ceremony started uh, in 2015 uh, this is the fifth year and uh, now we will um, keep going you get we'll bigger and bigger now yeah bigger bigger ho jandi hai hanji and uh, this year that sadi uh, inni demand si that ek seat ni sanu free mil se se koi bhi ek so this is cancellation ho jave and we will give it to other people oh it's that God. tough really? usually kit usually we are fine and this year has been very difficult i must tell everyone watching us ceo from sporting equals arun khan apna banda hai ga you know he's odna the khwahish ki hai na ki apne bande nu encourage kare to she come into the sports now you know watch a call channel agar to she andal connection can you of course give us a call we'll put you in connection with mr khan will that be okay absolutely uh, we need more people to do sport because of their health we need more people to do sport for employment and we need more people to do sport to bring communities together all L- important lastly i'm trying to get him on my show which mm-hmm. i do every monday the late show and he's been pushing for last few years i want you to admit it on the national tv tonight that you will make an effort to come and attend my show i will come to your show and i'll bring one of the winners with me whoever it is somebody will come with us fantastic thank you so much thank you thank you thank pretty you. you want to ask something yeah of course of course um over the past couple of years um bets awards um can you tell us how much it's grown it's grown phenomenally um i think the first year it was only a test we were seeing whether it would work for us uh and the demand and the popularity everybody wanted to get involved um from celebrities sports stars um communities sports organizations everybody wanted to so second year we came into london and we never looked back it's just growing each year and uh somebody from the football association said to me yesterday that this is um one of the most um awaited events in the sporting calendar so that tells you everything and how about women 
Well, women for us are as important as the men, if not more. We need more women to be um, doing more sports, especially from Asian cultures. Uh, we've got some of our a um, Asian girls here today uh, from um, kickboxing, taekwondo, uh, hockey. So, you know, this is really important because we need them to be the role models for the next generation. Exactly, exactly. And also another question is... Um, over the years, um, what do you think, how do you think the Asian community has progressed in pushing their children, especially women, to come forward? Not enough. If you think about um, countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, there the sport has become important and people are young. Know, doing hockey and netball and all these sports and in here we we seem to be stuck in the 60s and 70s culture when the first generation came to this country and they felt it wasn't appropriate but times have changed and dress codes have changed um, and safety has changed so much has changed but the mentality hasn't and that's why these awards are again important that's why it's important that Carl Chan are here because you are the ones who are going to help us get the message to them that sport is very good not just for um, winning a gold medal but for confidence for building um, contacts with businesses and, um, and, and, and universities and all of those. There's other cultures and communities are winning all of this and, and uh, meeting and networking and then get great jobs at the end of it. Our communities, because we're so uh, silo and isolated, we don't have those connections outside of our own community and that's a problem for our employment of prospects. Okay, well I hope all the success to you and all the awards uh, that are going to be taking place. Congratulations on the next one coming. Thank you very much. Uh, this is our fifth and I look forward to seeing you on the sixth. Thank you. My name is Bokshi Champion Kona Ben. I will talk a little bit about this. But I will try to talk a little bit about this. जो गल करेंगे तो पंजाबी सुना पाऊंगा कौन है मैं वेलकम किया उन्हें कॉल चैनल आई बी स्केट टू सेंड नेक्स्ट यू योर बॉक्सिंग चैंपियन मैन लेट्स नो फ्रेंडली आई एम लव वर्ड हार्ट लेट्स आई एम लव वर्ड हार्ट बट टेल मी वन थिंग यू नो पीपल से व्हेन यू व्हेन यू टॉक टू द बॉक्सिंग चैंपियन यू ऑलवेज काइंड ऑफ Definitely. I mean, you ask my wife, I'm the softest, softest really? man on the planet. I like staying home, chilling with the dogs, watching TV. You know, it's only when you get in the ring and someone tries to challenge me that I will show I'm the better, the, the better man. You know, that, that was my question because you're so softy, you're so charm. And, and, and you, you know, to, when you're in the ring, how do you bring that out, the other, the other side of you? Oh, don't get me wrong, that's in there. Really? Yeah, that's in there. Don't get on my nerves. Don't ask me silly questions. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, just come fight night, you know, it's my job, this is what I get paid to do, this is my living, I love fighting, I live and breathe it, I love fighting, I really? like I like another man challenging me and me proving I'm the better man. You know what, I, I work for the TV channel, we encourage youngsters to join the sports, but I'm contradicting my statement here, if you were my son, I wouldn't let you go for the boxing. <laughs> I wouldn't let my own son go for the boxing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a form. It's a boxing's a form of discipline, the highest form of discipline. You know, getting up at six in the morning to do your runs, dietary, nutrition. You can't do the things of the world, all the wrong things, and expect to be a champion boxer. You have to put the hard work in. It's the greatest form of discipline. And you know, for my kid to go to just for the training, that's fine. You you know, let out your aggression on the bag, let out your aggression. Um, you know, in the gym, in a controlled environment, you know, and I think that's sometimes what some of the youth need these days. But the, the other thing is, you see, okay, it's a hard work, you get beaten up and you beat other people as well. No, no, I, d I don't get beaten up. You don't get beaten up, <laughs> okay. And, and you know, uh, it's, you, you, get, you get your name worldwide and people recognize you on the street. The fame comes with that. And, you know, um, you can't buy that. You but I don't, I don't like the fame. Really? I, I don't like the fame, no. Cause my, my dad was a two-time world champion boxer, Nigel Ben. Um, he's achieved ten times more than I've achieved so far. You know, he's in the Hall of Fame, and so I've been raised around the the famous life. And you know, it's not what it's all hyped up to be. Sometimes I just want to go for a meal with my wife and sit down and, and relax. Sometimes, you know, I, being an expectation, a role model, an influence. You know, you can't afford to make these mistakes. And being 22 years young and having such high expectations you know you're afraid you might say something or mess up because that's what people are waiting for mm, you know so true. that's another whole side to the box if it was just boxing get in the ring turn up knock them out in round one and get paid that would be perfect but you know the fame comes with it of course it does now okay what well, we were talking earlier that i would not let my son to fight get into the ring that was well kind of a joke 
But what encouragement would you give to the people watching you now? Because it's something very important. I like people to come forward in any sports, but we'll talk about the boxing at the moment. And what do you mean in terms of to motivate people? You know, a lot of people, the athletic group, we, you've got to force them to come into the sports. You've got to encourage them. Um, well, I don't know how, how you work. I think you well, picked yeah, that I from your just, father. Yeah, but it doesn't happen overnight. I used to go to the gym and I used to get beaten up and think, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Really? All my life, all my life, I used to get beaten up in the gym. Um, and I'm thinking, why do I keep doing this? Why can't I be as good as this guy? Why can't I be as good as this guy? It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. You have to grow. You have to learn and develop. You have to absorb it. You have to live and breathe it. And it depends on how far you want to go. What you, what the price you are willing to pay depends on how much you put that value on it. Last question. What are you looking ahead now? What's your future? Oh, world champion. Undisputed. Baddest man on I'm the planet. I'm going to shake your hand. We're going to wish you well. 100%. Honestly, and that comes from my heart. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank that. you, honestly, son. I encourage you, and I'll be following you all the time. Whatever you go, we're going to get you on the channel and encourage other people to come and join the boxing. I really appreciate Jolette, that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm Mirna Dobande in San Ishibi, cricket coach, uh, England, which is both important and another position. I came on a Galkada. Firstly, I find your name so difficult to pronounce. So tell me your name. My name is Ajmal Shazad. Ajmal Shazad. You know, you holding this uh, coach, and tell me, how do you how do you do that? Because it's such a responsible and a big job, big on the job. How do you do that? So um, I work uh, for the Marleybone Cricket Club, uh, the MCC, which is the oldest, most prestigious cricket club in the world. Um, all your followers in India would have definitely heard about it. But um, we know we've 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 got a long history of producing uh, very good cricketers. The ones really? who yes, the, for for example, Anil Kumble, for example, who spent a bit of time with the MCC. Um, you know, we, we like to develop uh, players who have not had the opportunity to uh, play county cricket um, or be involved in some kind of professional environment. Uh, we give them support not only through the cricketing skills but through their um, just life, life skills more than anything. Ultimately, we're trying to create an individual that can ho hopefully go play county cricket and international cricket. But if that doesn't happen, then they can still go and get a job in the real world and hold their own and be strong enough. Um, and my friend Nick here works um, on behalf of the ECB, so a different perspective from there as well. You know, tell me in your days, you still used to play cricket or you still play cricket? Um, I still try to play. Uh, I'm 33, the greys, the greys show my age, but um, I, um, yeah, I, look, I played, I've been lucky enough to play 16 years uh, county cricket. I played three years international cricket. Um, what that has done is it's kept me in, it really, it, it allows me to understand the, the, the player's perspective, especially the, the, the youngsters that I'm dealing with. They're usually between 18 and 24, and me being 33, just out of the game, I know exactly how they feel. I know the, I know the testing times that they're going through, the tough decisions that they've got to make, especially in the modern day, where, as you guys will know, that Test cricket has taken a bit of a back step, and a lot of it is T20 cricket and 50 over cricket and T10. And these these children and these players, these young players now, are making tough decisions in into where they what they want to do. Because when there's million pound contracts on offer in the IPL, you know, do they want to play? the red ball format that we love and kind of treasure in England in test cricket or do they kind of give that up and go play IPL and go play T20 cricket so they're making very tough decisions in this in this period they're also going through a lot of changes in their lives as individuals so we just try to help them as best we can you know in my head is I used to play a lot of sports obviously um, but I'm keen to encourage people this is what I do on my channel every time I bring a sportsman in different field we're trying to encourage and inspire the youngsters to join or ask questions in case they want you to follow either a football or a cricket. Um, besides the money, I bet you you must get a lot of satisfaction as well. More Very, than the money. Oh, oh 100%, 100%. Look, everybody's got their um, kind of motivators in life, whether that's finances, whether that's just representing your country, whether that's just making your mum and dad proud. It could be anything. But um, look, for me personally, when you see people improve, and when you can put a smile on youngsters faces knowing that you've been there Beautiful. and you know that as a coach you're influence you're, you're 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 helping a player make decisions in their life that you ultimately know will help them make them stronger you know it took i got to 30 32 years old where i really started to understand what i wanted out of life if i can help somebody do that at 27 they can enjoy those extra five years that i struggled with um, it's a fantastic feeling. You're, You're doing good. a good job. Thank I can you, wish you well. Cheers. Thank and you. I'm sure Peter will ask some questions to Nick, yes? Okay, yes. 
So over the couple of years, um, how do you think it's grown in the ethnic and diversity in relation to that? Yeah, look, cricket's, uh, as we know, it's a global game with um, a great history with um, particularly South Asian countries. And I guess over the last 11 months in particular as the ECB, we've driven a South Asian action plan. Uh, that's all about getting uh, you know, more South Asian people playing the game and giving them a better experience. So uh, particularly over that time we've had a, a great experience of growing the game and, and building better connections and relationships with uh, wider communities. And what do you think are the barriers that are still um, up and coming now? Yeah, look, some of the barriers are around facilities, um, around the length of our formats to play the game. Uh, as well as cost barriers, um, so we're doing a lot of work to try and overcome that. Uh, but most importantly, what we're what we're doing is we're building closer and stronger relationships with communities uh, to get a better understanding of how it is the ECB uh, can provide better playing experiences for cricketers all around England and Wales. Okay, thank you. And I have a question as well. Um, over the years, um, this is talking about women now. Um, can you tell us, in your opinion, how? the women have come forward and what are your views? Yeah, um, look, the women game has come on leaps and bounds. Um, you know, I, you, you have a look at the following. I mean, there was a recent, there was a stat that I heard about the, the number of viewers that watched the finals, uh, England play in India, loads. Like, unbelievable. There were, there were millions of followers and it's kind of like, over the last five years, the, the, the women's game has just kicked on. You know, with the fact that they're playing all the T20 competitions around the world with the men's, it's kind of pretty much shadowing um, the, the the men's formats and the men's program, so it's fantastic. And the fact that there's contracts attached to that, there's monies attached to that, and those monies are slowly going up. You know, women, it, it, it's ultimately becoming a professional game for women, and it's not a part-time, um, it's not a part-time show that it was five, six, seven years ago. So, I think it's really, really healthy. Um, it gives fantastic role models to the next generation coming through, the, the young girls and, 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 and the women that are coming through to play the game. It's showing them what you know what potentially could be achieved, um, and I think it's only going from strength to strength. So I think we're living in a time where um, women's participation um, is just going through the roof. So it's, it's fantastic to see. Okay, great. Thank you very much for both of you. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Okay, hello. I'd like to introduce yourself, but I can't quite pronounce the name. Um, Carrier Deligan. Carrier, we have Carrier Deligan here now. And uh, how are you finding the uh, sports uh, bets uh, awards today? I'm um, really enjoying it. I came last year, so I'm really excited to be here again. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be up there. So, uh, If you wanted to give advice to um, the younger generation, what would you give? Um, it's just about taking all the opportunities you can, just enjoying the sport and just see where it takes you. Thank you. Mirna Nahun Eishaliman. Most important in the community is under 23, uh, football the which they should not like Galbat Kadir. I'm so proud and so privileged to see that the Asian community are going to watch football now because there are very few people into football. Why is that? Yeah, there's not many people into football, but um, there's everyone. Everyone plays as youngsters, so I'm not sure what the what the reason is. Why? How, how did you get into this? Uh, just my family are very sporting, so uh, my uncle, and my dad were very motivated to take me a lot, so they they took me when I was younger and just continue taking me. So who do you play for now, like? I'm Ast Aston Villa now. Aston Villa. Yeah. Are you one of the only one or there are a few others as well? Uh, there's not too many. I think I'm, I'm one of the only ones there. So, And it's always been like that. You know myself personally on the channel, I try to encourage youngsters, especially from the ethnic group, uh, to join any sports. And when I see people like yourself, under 23, into the football, because that's something we really need to hit hard. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think any, any sort of sports, but especially football, where there's such, so much competition or... You have to be so dedicated and motivated to, to try and try and get to the top. Tell me, um, what obstacles or how did you find getting there? Uh, was it? I'm sure it wasn't easy, but there was a lot of struggle. What did you have to do to get in there? Uh, I think it's, it's always been easy for me. My, my family made it always easy for me to to take me to train and take me to matches. So I've not I've not really had too much to get over. So it's it's been it's been good that in that sense. You've done very well for under 23. I would like to look at the camera. I want to give a message to youngsters to inspire you and follow you and hopefully they will join the football team. Just keep, just keep working hard. Uh, keep, keep doing your best and keep dedicated. And hopefully one day you will, you will get there. Thank you so much. Wish you well. Thank you. Thank you so much. What important, I Major General Nason, Sorry, Harmander Singh. 
अवार्ड मिले इट्स अ वेरी सिली क्वेश्चन टू मे आस्क के हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट इट बिकॉज आई नो हाउ वुड आई फील इफ आई वन द मेडल वेल आई एम सरप्राइज दैट्स अ जेन्युइन रिएक्शन एम आई डन nearly 150 marathons but this is worth more than all of them put together really yeah because hopefully it'll inspire another 150 people to run a marathon with me this is what i'm going to ask you you answer my question before even i put my question to you lovely and what you what your future plans now what you're looking forward uh, my future plans is I'm, i'm supposed to be running the marathon tomorrow but i won't be doing that now but my next marathon is a london marathon where i'm one of the official pacers um after that i've got another 20 marathons this year planned but Fodja Singh who I trained we're actually building a clubhouse uh, in his honor so in my next two years of projects is to build a clubhouse uh, to honor our greatest uh, achiever lovely feel proud of you what would you like to say sir well it's just it's it's humbling i mean this man has run 150 marathons 150. so in terms of you know he he epitomizes everything the british army holds dear courage discipline you know integrity you know determination you name it so we're incredibly proud Royal engineers yeah and everyone in my family apart from me has been in uniform both my sons and my brother are police officers but so you are never too late never too late never too late you are this for reaction i hope our youngsters watching the channel will follow your footsteps yeah thank you sir yeah. thank you very much to see sir in the kid the batch of boards bola acha lagya we met very important people from the army navy they see gay and jinan boards bagara mila uh, the most important thing is batch of boards again in the action black and nation community the ethnic group they um a cult channel make sure i must say that by the way a cult channel was the only action media present here today and we're so proud so honored ke jo apne lokan ne achievement kar de ne we like to share with the worldwide uh, 107 countries aise tarah se program karte rahenge please keep watching a cult channel a cult channel to support karo taaki koi achche to achche program lekar aise aa sake Yeah, and uh, there's so many people that have won the awards, and we hope that uh, watching the awards and uh, seeing who's been nominated and the winners, you as well out there will take a step to also come on and come into the sporting industry.